we got another cupcake with some agenda on the back end, and let me start up by letting y'all know, this ain't got nothing to do with women. I just feel the term women in this music, is nothing more but a setup for a punchline to keep your mind straight. So welcome back to Value for Viral, it's all about dissecting and exposing hidden agendas, I had some issues with my laptop, I couldn't make any videos, I'm sorry for that, but am glad to be back to expose and trying to explain coded messages. I'm taking this gradually, no rush, there are other lanes which I'm gonna get into with time, if you're new and really on this truth journey, and your wake stay on, subscribe, share, hit the like button, drop your comments. Travis Scott released a new music video, saying he is the highest in the room, well it's not only about smoking marijuana or women, though it's floating around the video, it's also about cultism, and he is saying he has reached the highest level in the cult, so he is close to Satan, we see fallen angels in the sky, which are really giant clouds designed like women. I know many of y'all won't understand why I'm saying this, I'm gonna take you back, Travis Scott is a good rapper, you know what I'm saying, but what made him famous was his attribution with the devil, and he explained everything in sicko mode with Drake, Drake came to help him out on this one. Sicko mode made a buzz and he became a hurricane, you know what I'm saying, but if you watch sicko mode you're gonna see all the symbolism I expose on my channel, them giving glory to Saturn which is actually Satan. Made this here with all the ice on in the booth, at the gate outside when they pull up they give me loose. But that's not all, to totally confirmed he was a puppet, the elites gave him a place at this year Pepsi Super Bowl halftime show. I made a video on that, you can pause and go check it out, he did a ritualistic performance. Falling from the sky like the fallen angel Lucifer, he also landed on a satanic fire similar thing to Billie Eilish video where she said her Lucifer is lonely, y'all go check the video is on my channel. Let's go back to the actual video, I was taking y'all offset to put y'all on same page, why he is pushing satanism on his fans and those watching his music, and most of the symbolism and demonstration are not meant for the masses to understand. Cause I come across a whole bunch of people who just find everything normal, but they never take time to research for verification purposes. At the back end, these symbols are means of communication, not to the masses watching but to others like them around the world, when they watch they understand and they celebrate, while on the other end the masses don't understand anything, they create a different meaning and convince themselves it's cool, get brainwashed, and chill, while fresh spells are being cast upon them. Travis for one has always been an end time preacher, the other way round, preaching about the calming of Lucifer, so the graphical scenes here are about the end times, so hilarious. We got dark clouds in the sky, I already spoke about dark clouds in this video about MK Ultra. dark clouds are linked to demonic control, sinister presence you can check the video up, on how Khaled and Elish explained their story with dark clouds and lightning bolts. Then we got Travis Scott walking up to this building where, everyone is standing just looking, kinda like everyone is being hypnotized and in a trance, then he's trying to climb his way up, to be the highest, we find him moving through faces similar to the Games of Thrones, then he got kidnapped dragged into a room, passed through MK Ultra, then woke up in room with strippers, after he got elevated got injected with some kind of booster which made him able to fight this animated robot. The lady in red represents blood sacrifices, well that's how he choose to explain it, blood sacrifices really elevated his buzz, quickly skyrocketed his success train, so pretty much it's him trying to show us how he climbed his way up to where he is, that's what these people do, even the lyrics got double meaning, let me start from the outro. I'm the highest, you might got the Midas, which he is probably boasting about his success, the Midas is borrowed from King Midas, in ancient Greek mythology he had power to turn everything gold. Down at night, everyone feel my vibe, yet in the broad day, everyone hypnotizing, yeah, Travis Scott has always had a fascination with the night time, often referencing it in his music. In a July 2017 interview, he said, everything's for real at night, I don't live in the daytime. Which is all about Satanism and sacrifices where he gets his inspiration from, he made other music talking about how he loves the night like Nightcrawler. So the night time is where they go hustle and the shine through the day, and their music are hypnotizing people, that even when we try to show them the hidden dark side they can't change. 
The beginning lyrics are all about the devil filling his minds with ideas. She fill my mind up with ideas. I'm the highest in the room. That's how they compose their lyrics and choose a beat and get a buzz. How he has been to dark places which we won't like, probably for sacrifices. The rest is about smoking weed or marijuana, talking about his toys. Y'all know he got the fastest 2.4 million dollar Ferrari. He also had lines boasting about his 58 million dollar wealth. He also spoke about Kyler Jenner, his partner. He also did a crazy ritualistic stunt. Y'all know when that robot kicked his leg, one of his shoes fell out. Yonig is pulling up from trans and trying to grab the shoes. I find it significant cause he's promoting this Nike Cactus Jack sneakers. Anyways that's it. Smoke turns clouds white not dark. I've shown you guys what I could make out this video. Let's hold this one here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button, share share, and share. See y'all in the next video.